On the first day of class, Professor Rossi walked in and said, it is completely normal for a man to come back home from work, hit the head of his wife against the kitchen table and kill her. Remember, we're still the most dangerous animal. Please pick up your brother on Wednesday. Can we just send a taxi to get him? God, no! If you don't want to pick him up, then I will figure out a way. Oh, well, Mom, is fine. I'll pick him up. It's fine. I just want you to answer something for me first. What's that? Would you visit me twice a month if I went to prison, too? Of course not. No matter what you did, they'd never catch you. That's not a valid answer. It's not the answer that you wanted, but it is an answer. Wednesday at 10, please don't be late. It's not what I asked. And please, do not cut in his case. Okay, it's the last thing that he needs. Sure, promise. Hey, you. Hey, are you back with us this term? Wait, did you register with me? How was vacation? Did we talk about that already? Yes, this is my final term. Yes, I chose you as my advisor for my senior project, so I'm already registered. No, it wasn't a vacation. It was a leave of absence to come back with money with a vengeance. And no, we haven't talked about it already. Am I interrupting? Absolutely. Everybody waited the last minute to register. Guilty as charged. Sorry, I didn't know if I was going to be able to afford the time. Yeah, well, at least you're one of the good ones, so I can let it slide. Anyway, if this is a social visit, can we reschedule the next week? Because I am really busy. Yeah, I actually wanted to talk to you about my senior project. You are making it about your brother's case, right? But Nick is actually getting out soon. Already? Time flies. I'm thinking I should just move on and work on something else. Cool your jet, space girl. How close are you to him? Because you've been working on his case for years. If you push through, you could even write that book you always talk about. It would be too personal. Let me be blunt here. You have never been a normal person, and you never will be. And yes, I know, when I'm talking about weirdos, I'm the worst one out there. But you have to embrace what you're about and push beyond that. You know this already. You have a beautiful mind. Use it. Just be the hunter you are meant to be. I was talking more about his feelings, but I guess you kind of have a point. Kind of? You just came here for the pep talk, didn't you? Come on, pitch it to me. Rough is fine. Just shoot. Passion crimes is a gateway to serial killing. Wow, I love it. Wait, are you saying you think your brother's gonna kill more people? I was thinking of using him as the passion crimes part. I'm sold. Like, just iron it up and send me to layout. Oh, well, now, hold on. I didn't say I was going to do it. I want to see how things are with Nick at home first. Well, come back when you've made up your mind, okay? Bye now. Will do. Thanks. A pleasure as always. I know. I guess this is as good a spot as any. So, the big question is... Well, are you proposing? No, 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 don't, don't, don't. I don't want you to propose, no. I'm just asking you want to eat here. Oh, it doesn't sound like a big moment. Yes, I am starving. I don't want to pick him up. Is he really dangerous? No, he's just an asshole. Professor Rossi is right. This could be my book. Boo. You don't even like your brother. You probably won't see him again after you graduate. Do what's best for you. Nobody cares about your future as much as you do. Except me, of course. 
I just want to know about your future so I can plan around your crazy fantasies. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine how boring your life would be without me? Always so predictable and stable. Oh yeah, I fantasize about it all the time. Babe. But I wouldn't trade my boo for anything. Ever. What would I do without you? You'd probably just slowly drift away. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm late. What's up with the costume? It's not a costume. Whatever you say, Marilyn Manson. Look, I want to be left alone, you want to be left alone. Let's just stay out of each mm. other's way, okay? Or else? What do you want from me, Nick? I want you to help me find Gwen's killer. Seriously? You haven't even been out a day and that's what's on your mind? What else would you think about? Going to a costume party with you? Can't you just move on? No, I can't just move on. If you'd ever been in love, then you'd know that. Oh, you think you're the first person to fall in love? Like ever? No, but compared to you, I'm a fucking expert. Oh, yeah, you were in one relationship and you're an expert, right? It wasn't one relationship, it was the relationship. Okay, Nick. So you're gonna help me or not? No. Of course not. Okay, can't you tell that the entire rest of the world has moved on? You know, Gwen always tried to include you in it. Are you guilt tripping me? Okay, look. You don't care about anybody. <laughs> Please. All right. Guess I just have to do it myself. Oh, yeah, and what are you gonna do when you find him? Kill him? You know, you can't go around saying things like that. At least not in front of Mom. You could pretend to tolerate me, Rian. At least in front of Mom. I told you. You leave me alone, I'll leave you alone. Fine, let's do that. Okay, let's do that. I don't. He really thought you weren't going to leave him a tip. I thought about it. What do you expect me to behave like a lady when I'm hungry? His face was priceless. I don't see. I can let you do this. <laughs> Maybe he's just from France, babe. No way in hell is French, boo. <laughs> His accent changed like 15 times during the meal. <laughs> uh. What is it? <clears throat> My mom, she just drained all the money from my account. I'm sorry, babe. It's a matter of time, she can't say no to him. Yeah, but it didn't even take a day. We're not gonna let this bring us down, are we? We'll get through this just like we always do. Let's give me the hottest, smartest, bestest girlfriend ever. Bestest? Really, babe? You're such a grandma, Nazi. I'm just saying, bestest is not a Stop. Okay. Stop. This is about me supporting you. So I'm going to try to change something. Just remember, I love you tons. <laughs> okay. Anyway, this cute green of yours probably came up with a plan for this months ago. I understand how you feel, bro, but what are you gonna do? Go around asking if they killed your girlfriend? No. I'm gonna ask them if they know who killed her. And pay good money for it, too. It's only gonna mess with your head trying to figure out if the leads they give you are true. What if you had a better idea? I do. Get a job, move on, try to catch up with your life. 
No, I can't do that. Now. Well, if you change your mind, the boss agreed to meet with you. It's not an interview, though. It's more of a meet and greet type of thing. Thank you, man. That's, that's cool. Thanks, man. Yeah. Is this the company? Ah, uh, now that's a taxi service I do through the phone. Huh. Sounds legit. I mean, does it pay well? Maybe I can do that. It pays all right. <laughs> you just wouldn't qualify. Sorry. Yeah. True. You want to see something cool? Sure. Check this out. What's that? A camera. What do you, what do you mean a camera? No, it's not. <laughs> what? It's HD, bro. Sometimes people get rowdy. What the fuck? This thing is puny. <laughs> and it's motion activated, right? Cool or not cool? Really fucking cool. Holy. Oh. Man. Things change. Listen, I know Gwen was something else, but uh, you should be open to the idea. Stop. I'm seeing a super cute girl right now. It. It's not too serious, but it's really nice to have someone else around. It's gonna take me a second to start thinking about girls again, man. Anyway, I gotta get back to work, man. Yeah. Just one more thing, though. What? I didn't tell my boss why you went to prison. So when you meet with her, just don't go into details, you know what I mean? Yeah, I wasn't planning to, but... Uh... Thanks a lot for the hookup, man. Yeah, man. You might want to take care of this. Take care of what? All of that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Shit, I didn't even think about it. Yeah, bro, you gotta look good to feel good. Right now, you don't look good at all, so. <laughs> yeah, um. Yeah. Well, look, thanks, man. Yeah. This new look, man. It suits you. Um, it's not like I wasn't gonna clean up before going to my interviews. Wait, you got an interview already? It's like those manifestation books you gave me always say, right? Uh, everything finds its place. It's finally happening, Mom. Yeah, you uh, better enjoy me while I still got free time, kid. What do you mean? Well, I told you that your brother is staying with us. Permanently? Defensive. I mean, didn't I drive you your piano lessons every week when you wanted to become a virtuoso? Yeah, so you could take the car and screw Gwen. Yeah, well, what about when I bought your classmates lunch every Saturday because you're too much of a nerd to make your own friends? Yeah, you know, if your mom gave you, then you would use to impress Gwen. Well, it worked out, didn't it? Because she was crazy about me. Mm hmm. How'd it work out for her? Stop <laughs> it, Rianne. Anyway. I am very happy that you're starting to think about your future already. Yeah, um, <laughs> talking about the future, I, uh, I was... What is going on? I was talking to your brother about the fact that you and Mariah spent so much time together and you might be moving in with her soon. Are you kicking me out? No, we're just planning ahead, that's all. What's next? Selling my organs to pay for his new suit? Well, Mom did always say that you're really healthy, so... So okay, kid? <sighs> I gotta apologize for spazzing out. 
Why are you always such an asshole? Oh, probably because you're always such a snowflake. You moving out? Look, I can't help you with your project. But this might be a good place to start. What's that? After the cops left your place, I took anything that I thought might be of sentimental value. My stuff? Mostly Gwen's, I think. Thanks. Bye. senior project on Gwen Anderson's case. I'm gonna try and fill in all the missing information and then make a psychological profile of the killer to wrap it all up. Now what is this? The research I did three years ago. It has a timeline of the crime and a list of all the missing information for your reference. Bye Cameron. Wait, wait, wait. Are you saying you talked to your brother and he agreed to help you with this? Kinda. Sit down. I have most of the data from the research I did three years ago. My brother can help fill in some of the blanks, but other than that... Well, blanks that are crucial. He may even show you where the knife is. Well, the way I see it, I don't want to be overambitious and fail. That's the most not Rianne thing you have ever said. Like you said, I can save the best part for the book and go into that with more detail without the deadline of graduation. And I like that. That sounds more like you. Well, just keep me updated so I know you're not losing perspective. Will do. Bye, Cameron. Bye now. Yeah, um, hi, is Katie Morrison there? Sorry, wrong name. I'm sorry. Samantha L there? Samantha Lat? Spit it out, Nick. Okay. I think if I just look over her last few days or weeks, then I'll probably be able to find some clue or some lead or, or something. 
Well, I told the cops everything, so there's not much left to say. I think she was seeing somebody else. Well, it's obvious that whoever killed her hated her or loved her. Why else would he have stabbed her 27 times? Well, if he knew her, then he would have come here. He would have visited her, checked in on her, dropped her off, picked her up. I don't know what to tell you. But was she acting funny in the last few days? Skipping work, leaving work early? You know, Gwen told me a story about you. The time that you saved that kid from getting hit at the supermarket. Um, then you fractured your eye socket when he hit you. And you almost lost that eye. And I always thought, <clears throat> that's somebody that I want taking care of my kid. I just always wanted to say that. Anyways, thanks for seeing me. Wait. Sit down. I never was uh, comfortable with their relationship. However, to be fair, they were very professional, at least until the end. What do you mean? Well, she had a friend here. Uh, about a month before she was killed, they had a falling out. You Never thought much about it until now. You didn't tell the cops this because... The cops talked to him. But it was different back then. Wait, when you said that you didn't have anything else to tell me, I knew it was much more complicated than it seemed. I think about it sometimes, but I just always felt I shouldn't get involved without knowing all the facts. Gwen liked to talk and he liked to listen. Maybe he remembers she was going through something. Cameron? Yeah, he was devastated when he found out. Cameron who? Oh, what's his last name? Porter. Samantha. Thank you. Thank you very much. kill Gwen. What? And yet you didn't bother to look at any of the things that you put in the box. Those were personal things. You have a beautiful mind. Use it. Mr. P. Who's Mr. P? Mr. Porter was our math teacher in middle school. You know, that cool teacher everybody wanted to be friends with. And he gave that book to Gwen? In eighth grade just a few years before they worked together at the orphanage. That's creepy, if you're going where I think you're going. Yeah, it seems like they were pretty close. This card was also in the box. Wait a minute, you think the same guy? Yeah, honestly, I'm just all over the fucking place right now. I could really use a cool head. Okay, we can do that. Look, we need to organize ourselves before making contact with him. Make a timeline of where and how often he was in contact with Gwen. That way we can anticipate any alibi he might have and stay ahead of him. Okay, why not just confront him? No. 
If he knows that we're onto him, he could destroy any link he has to the case. I mean, he may have kept the knife as a trophy, so we should try and find that first. Nick. It's imperative that we do not reach out to him until we know as much as we can, okay? I mean it. Don't contact him until we're both ready. I heard you the first time, kid, all right. That's what he looks like, by the way. It's a real dapper dresser. What are you thinking? What? We should be very careful. Hey! What does the P stand for? What? What does the P stand for? What's your middle name? The P stands for Porter, which is my last name. And my middle name is something else, which I will never tell you or anyone else. I thought your last name was Rousey. Well, that's my second last name. I'm Hispanic, remember? The people around here kept using Rossi, so I stopped trying to explain it to them. Anyway, what do you need? We found a suspect. Wait, what do you mean? Are you saying Nick didn't do it? First of all, all the evidence they had on Nick was circumstantial. And second of all, we found out that Gwen had a falling out with a coworker that she was close with. Go on. You know, it actually seems like they knew each other for years. And if that's true, imagine this. Yeah, imagine that you are that guy and you've been seeing Gwen and you're totally invested in her. She's the love of your life. And then, boom. You find out that she'll leave you for her boyfriend, which means you're the disposable one. That would be the motive. What if, what if it was the other way around? What if this guy was Gwen's real partner and it was Nick, the one who lost it when he found out? I mean, we know Gwen was seeing other people. Why would this one be any different? This one loved her. And the others did? The others were too young. This one was a real man, hopelessly in love. How do you know Nick's not using you to blame someone else? Nick? No, doesn't have it in him. We all think it's not in us. That's what's so fascinating about passion crimes. Everybody is a suspect. What else? That's it, for now. Well, if Nick didn't do it, we need to find out who did. Keep going, you're onto something. Wait, did you ever find out what happened to Katie Morrison? No, why? I always thought it was strange, she went missing right after. I mean, if Nick didn't kill Gwen, wouldn't Katie be the next suspect? I don't have anything on her. Hi, I'm Mariah, Rianne's friend. Uh, Nick, but you probably know about me, right? A thing or two. <laughs> Rianne hasn't told me a thing about you, uh, but we can all clearly see that you make her very happy, which is surprising, really. She likes perfection. Oh. What can I say? Yeah, well, it's nice that yeah, she found some sugar for her coffee. Is that an innuendo? No, 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 no. I, I, like, uh, you're like the sweet part of her life. <laughs> Messing with you. I know what you meant. Oh, um, sorry, you know. She can be pretty extreme, so. Oh, I would know, trust me. Yeah? You think you know her well? You think you know her better? I mean, well, you know about the time that she sprained her ankle while playing hooky, right? Or what about the time that she went skinny dipping in the public pool? You know about that? Skinny dipping? This girl runs into the city pool butt ass fucking naked. Yeah. Okay, can you imagine that? No freaking way, she would never do that. I couldn't find my swimsuit because this jerk hit it. Oh. 
Dude, she didn't care about that, okay? She runs out, just stripped. She, she was really skinny back then too, so she looked like a little stick figure, you know, like an old cartoon. Like she runs in. She couldn't swim either. She was like kneeling the noodles. She's like, ah, splish splash, ah. You're full of crap. I am dead serious. I'm ready. Her. Let's go. Uh, it was it was fun meeting you. And nice to meet you too. See ya. Bye. Want more ice cream, boo? No thanks, babe. Are you annoyed that I talked to your brother? No, I'm annoyed that you keep bringing it up. Okay. Got it. Why does he think he's so smart? I think he's just trying to compensate. Compensate for what? I don't know. Everything? He's smart, funny, handsome, and even my gay girlfriend thinks he's a catch. What more does he want? You know that's not how it works. He's just afraid. Afraid of what? Of you, boo. You're like a walking brain, always analyzing everything and absorbing information and finding all the right answers at the same time. It's annoying as it sounds. No one can call you out because you're always right. Is that what you think of me? That I'm a walking computer? I'm sorry, boo. I shouldn't get involved between you two. Oh, no. It's too late to be sorry. Now you're going to have to make it up to me. You're so manipulative sometimes. What do I have to do? Can you get me some more ice cream? You just said you didn't. What flavor do you want? Sharp. How long you fucking Gwen? What? You fucking the day she died. Yo man, you you're really freaking me out. Fucking piece of shit! Hey man! You hey, didn't! You should have told you should have told her that, man! You get in my face and I'm forced to do anything! She liked being with dudes since high school. Everybody knew that. She liked attention. That doesn't mean that you get to take advantage of her like that, man. Nobody took advantage of her. She was a grown ass woman. She was a fucking kid. All right, she couldn't say no, you idiot. Nick, that's who she was. She liked getting it on. She liked the attention. There's nothing wrong with that. Who else? Everybody? She was hot. Who would say no to her? Look, I know deep down inside you're not surprised at all. You just understand it had nothing to do with you. Look. For what it's worth, I still hear her laughter all the time. I loved her too, man. I just wasn't fool enough to th think that I could own her. Go fuck yourself. Go cool off. Go fuck yourself. When you say everybody. Everybody. Nobody talked about it, but it wasn't a secret. Sorry, man.
<clears throat> yeah, Mr. Porter, I don't know if you remember me. My name is Nick Angers. Uh, we have to talk. Would you like to sit down, or would you rather walk? I prefer if we sit here, if I can be honest. Did you kill her because she preferred me? Funny. That was going to be my line. But it turns out, you didn't do it. Do you have any leads? What bothers me the most is that you don't even try to deny that you groomed her since, like, what, middle school? <laughs> the cat's out of the bag already. I mean, are you really going to judge me for liking the same girl you and the whole damn school had a crush on? She could have been your daughter. But she wasn't. And I loved her in ways you can't even imagine yet, because you're young and stupid. She enjoyed my company. Can you say the same? Apparently a lot of people can. Not really. I, uh, I think she dumped you and you fucking lost it. I hated you so much back then. But now, I just feel bad for you. You lost everything. Gwen, your freedom, your future. You gotta roll with the punches, man. We want the same thing, Nick. We need to work together if we're gonna find her killer. What do you know? Well, that last year, she was experimenting a lot. Started liking girls, but it wasn't enough. Yeah, she wanted kids. I thought she was too young. I told her I was too young. That's why I think the killer was a girl. Gwen was probably actively trying to get pregnant, and when the girl found out, she lost it. Okay, what makes you say that? The guys Gwen got with were trash. Her girl must have been offended. When she found out Gwen wanted one of these guys to knock her up, that was it. You know, Gwen was with a lot of people. I think anybody could have done it. Not anybody. Only one who really loved her. Well, that brings it back to you, doesn't it? Apparently. What about Katie Morrison? They were an item. I can see that. Uh, but, I mean, Katie's not the violent type. Anybody can be the violent type. But what do we have to lose? Let's find her and ask her. I never said I trusted you, man. You know, the way I look at it is this. You haven't killed me because either A, you don't have it in you, or B, you think I didn't do it? The answer is B. For now. I'm gonna go and see all of the above. for me to apologize for calling you on something you did? You could have texted me saying that you were coming. My girl's sleeping. Did I tell you I managed to set up a meeting for Monday? The job interview? Wait, dude, it is Saturday. What the fuck are you gonna tell me? I just did. Uh, gee, thanks. 
You busy? Yeah, but some. With what? I gotta go talk to somebody. I don't wanna do it alone. Are you for real? Are we gonna get some kind of trouble? Probably. <sighs> Damn it, Nick. Why are you trying to get me involved? You're the only friend I have, man. It's not like you have any special skills or anything, so. Fuck you. <laughs> Where are we going? Do I need to look tough like I'm about to beat him up? Yeah, just, you know, watch my back. I don't think you can hear that. Just take it. He's out. I'm just checking. For hair. Gotta be kidding me. Mikey guy from high school? Rings a bell. Yeah, quite a bit of a jerk and he got better and he kept in touch. Johnny, what does this have to do with anything? He went missing. Who hey, we should read that somewhere else. The names you told me to, and they all seem to be missing. Well, why'd you make me look it up if you already knew? Just found out. Where did you find this? Mr. Porter's trash. Why well, the door is open? are very detailed. Yeah, he likes doing his homework. Nick! Nick, these are his trophies. He's gonna notice that somebody took them. Done. Let's just see what we can find. Everyone that loved her died. Just to cover all the bases. What? Julian was fucking Gwen, Julian was fucking Gwen. Your friend, Julian? Yeah, Julian Manson. Uh, his name's not in any of Mr. Porter's files and he wasn't in any of the police reports either, so. How did you find this out? I mean, did he tell you? 
Don't worry about it, kid. I, I got my ways. Okay, well, let's not jump to any conclusions. So far, Mr. Porter is still our main suspect. Don't tell anything else to Julie. Hey, you know Katie Morris? What about her? I mean, she was Glenn's best friend, you know, maybe she's she... missing too. She disappeared two months after going on film. Yeah, and everybody else went missing within a six month period three years ago. So, Porter killed them? Yeah, there are two types of killers that leave a body behind the ones that want to make a statement and the stupid ones. This one didn't want to leave a trace. Yeah, Porter disappeared in Sherman. He kept the flyers as trophies because they're not real evidence. That still leaves Julian and Katie. Think Katie is in hiding? I think Katie could be Quinn's killer. Okay, stop it. You're starting to lose perspective here. Yeah, Katie is a loose end, true, but everything else points to Mr. Porter. I mean, look, he, he probably tracked down all the people, all the guys that were close to Gwen, and well, now they're missing. Look, man, I don't know. Anyway, he sliced it, I just don't see Porter killing Gwen. It's the only lead that we have. Damn it, Nick! And now we got in your head and you're sympathizing with him and you can't see things objectively. Porter may have killed these guys. Yeah, okay, sure, fuck it, fine. I just do not think that he killed Gwen. I, I think somebody else did it. I don't think so. <sighs> well, then, just see what else you can find about Katie. I'll do it tomorrow. I'm on my way out. I'm not sure why we go out when you're in a mood. Please don't start, babe. With work and school and Nick, I just, I have a lot on my plate and it's giving me a lot of anxiety. Tell you what, I'm gonna give you a nice little massage, help you relax, and then we're gonna see if you're feeling a little sexy later. <laughs> and you say, I'm the manipulative one. Nick is not like how I imagine him at all. He seems pretty down to earth. Babe. When you think about it, he could be the hero that comes back from prison and avenges his girlfriend. Like the movie The Crow, babe, remember? First of all, the guy from The Crow comes back from the dead. And second of all, Nick does not qualify as any kind of hero. He's never had any long-term goals. He seems pretty determined to find out what happened to his girl. Oh yeah, did you guys talk about that? No. He said that apparently and make you happy. How would he know? Really, babe? I'm just saying, it's not like I tell him things like that. It's personal. Are you upset? No. Maybe. You like him too much. I'm not Gwen, okay? I won't betray you like she did. How do you know? Has anyone ever told you that you might be psychotic? Is that your professional opinion, Dr. Lee? Well, it's not just a theory. So far, you haven't shown disregard for morality, so that's a plus. But you also don't seem to be very empathetic towards anyone, so that makes me wonder sometimes. You know what I'm thinking? Is that when you decide work means more fun than annual duty? Not all psychopaths are serial killers. They might just need one less justification to become one. Uh, imagine this, imagine you have a functional so psychopath, a high achiever, and for some reason they kill somebody. A passion crime? I was thinking more self-defense, but yeah, a passion crime works too. And there are no consequences. They kill someone and nothing happens to them. That would confirm the idea that they're about to lose of society. Right, and justify their behavior. Nick is very charming, so it wouldn't be surprising. No, I was actually talking about Professor Rossi. Can we leave Nick out of this? Honestly, can we just leave him out of everything? Or, or we can just stop talking at all. Hey, stop. Okay, I should be focusing on Professor Rossi instead of Nick. And we lost her. This, this is the premise I needed for my book. 
Passion climbs is the ongoing obsession of love. Night, boo. Don't forget to tuck me in when you go to sleep. Before I pass out, I love you tons. Okay. the opportunity, Miss Perkins. Thank you for the opportunity, Miss Perkins. <laughs> oh, no, thank you for the opportunity, Miss Perkins. You better not use any of my articles in your project. Why the pseudonym? Those are just ideas I don't want to explain. Helps me articulate my thoughts regardless of the readers. You're writing a book about my brother's case. No, I'm writing a book, and your brother's case just happens to be a part of it. Did you just figure that out? Yeah. I thought you were helping me out of academic interest. That is why I'm helping you. Your brother's case just happens to be part of a much, much bigger subject matter. Which is? You write your book, I'll write mine. I love the one where you talk about love being like a prison. It was so spot on. In order for it to be love, there has to be obsession, so. Few people get to experience real love. I did once. I loved this girl so much that I completely forgot about myself. It was beautiful and terrible. What did you do? I had to let her go. It truly is beautiful and terrible. And it only gets worse when she's not around. It's like having your chest ripped open forever. Time heals everything. The stump may heal. The arm doesn't grow back. How can you replace the irreplaceable? Why would you? To stop the pain. 
How far would you go to stop the pain? Is this for your project? What is it you really want from me? Nick isn't much of an interesting subject, if I'm being honest. And you think I am? You are the most interesting person I have ever met. Everything clicked once I read your articles. Okay, I've been writing non-stop. So. I should warn you not to mention me in your project or your book. As your advisor, it's my obligation. Understood. I just thought I could help you move on. At my age, there is no moving on. Only cleaning up. That explains a lot. I almost forgot. Julian Hansen. Apparently he was one of Gwen's lovers. I missed him the first time around, didn't get to talk to him. How did you miss him? He's Nick's best friend. He was right in front of me, so. But hopefully I'll talk to him soon, maybe this week. Another suspect? Just another one of our men. Well, go get him. Hey, honey. Are you okay? When did I fuck it all up? I had it all right. And then poof, I'm in prison. Nobody comes to visit me. It was a complicated case. Complicated how? Well, for instance, it came up during the trial that Gwen was, how should I say, crazy about boys. And some of them were your so-called friends. Never thought to tell me. Why? She wasn't serious about any of them. And it certainly wouldn't have helped your case. It only would have made you feel worse than you already were. You could have saved me so much time. Now I'm trying to pick up the piece of my life, and the only person I have left is you. You were very checked out during the trial. I did my best. Anyway, if Julian got you that job interview today. It was an interview. Lady like just wanted to see the ex-con fresh out of jail. Hmm. Maybe some fucking anyway. Did Julian know? I don't know. He wasn't there. He's not answering his phone either. Maybe you could just get away for a little bit. Take a vacation. I have some money saved up for Rianne's graduation present. I could easily just... All the money in the world couldn't help me now. Thanks, though. Long time no see, stranger. Thanks for buying groceries yesterday. Yeah, no problem. I think we're back to double shifting, trying to make up for your big dog. Please don't. Have you spoke to Mariah about moving in together yet? Mom, I told you we'd talk about it when I finish school. Nick can wait that much longer. But you have to remember that he needs more help than other people. He always has. 
he used to have this gait that all the other kids laughed at. And he laughed along with them because he was too little to understand that they were laughing at him. I know. You've told me many times. And then you started growing up and doing everything on your own. Yep, so you had to bring me down to make him feel less inadequate. He is your brother. And he needs us. Is that too much to ask? Mom, Mariah's waiting for me. God damn it, Rianne! What is it gonna take for you to care for your brother? Why? He's just gonna throw everything away anyway? Oh, well, they'll help him. Damn, people will. like him can't be helped, Mom! Sorry. Babe, today's one of those days where I need our safe space. Who is Katie Morrison? You left your email account open in my computer, but it wasn't even your account. It was Katie Morrison's or whoever that is. That you respected the fact that it wasn't yours and you didn't touch anything, right, babe? Can you tell me what's going on? Did you touch anything? You don't trust me? Research, Mariah, you die of boredom. Why don't you let me decide for myself? What are you talking about? Nothing about you, it's simple, Boo. But I'm really happy with us right now. If this is something that's gonna change us, please stop. Not everything is about us. Anything that happens to you, it happens to us. Whatever you do, we do. We don't become one person because we're dating. What I do is what I do. Love is not just about what one person feels. It's about two people sharing everything together. Love is about trust and commitment. I know. You told me that. I won't let anything change us. Hi, um, I don't know if you remember my name. I'm... I know who you are. I'm trying to understand why you didn't text before showing up like normal people, but you probably got institutionalized already, right? Never mind. What do you want, Nick? May I come in? No. Just say what you need. I'm looking for Katie. She's dead. Excuse me? She's dead. She went missing in October eight years ago, a bit after Gwen was killed. You should really do your homework before going to people's homes. It's kind of wrong to just show up. If she's missing, then maybe she's still in hiding. Hiding? From whom? Son, nobody could have kept her in a basement too long. Katie was like a feral cat. 
She would have dug through anything and anyone to break free and then come home to tell me about it. So wouldn't you prefer to come back? Shut up. The only reason I'm talking to you is because I know you didn't kill Gwen. Whoever killed Gwen is out and about and is the same bastard that killed my daughter. Got any theories? Killer was in love with Gwen and killed her when he found out she was with Katie. Then killed Katie out of jealousy. Honestly, I think you were probably more of a cover for Gwen to look respectable, you know? You know, everybody keeps telling me that Killer was involved with Gwen, too. Of course. Wasn't she stabbed 27 times? That's someone that was hurting very, very badly. If you hadn't been in prison when Katie went missing, I would have thought of you first. Got anybody else in mind? I wasn't that involved in their lives. All this thinking happened later. You keep saying he. What if it's she? He, she, it, it doesn't matter. Someone with two hands and a broken heart. Anyway, I have things to do. Sorry. Go ahead. I meant I'm sorry you went to prison. I always thought you were a good guy. A bit dim, but good. Katie's dead. I thought you said she was in hiding. I emailed her, and someone replied, but I don't think it was her, actually. I actually think it's Julian. Wait, what? Here's my theory. So, Porter, he kills all the other ones. Out of jealousy or spite, we know that. I can't prove it. But agreed. Okay. So, what if Julian killed Gwen and then he kills Katie? Why would he do that? Okay, he knew all along that Gwen was getting with other people. I mean, you were her boyfriend and he didn't try and kill you. I thought about it a lot and I think it is because Katie is a girl. He felt more threatened by one girl than a bunch of guys. So she's not just one girl, right? I and mean, she's like the girl, like the only girl that Gwen was ever with. That's gotta make her special. I don't think it makes her special. But I see your point. So, Julian hacked Katie's email to get you off track? To push me towards Porter. What are you gonna do? I don't know. Um, you know, Julian has re responded to me in like two days. Uh, I actually think that he's onto us being onto him. Maybe we should leave it here. I mean, I, I have school picking up, and you gotta get a job, so. Detective Quitter. Throwing in a towel already, huh? Take a step back, Nick. You're twisting your logic to see anything as evidence. Why do you want to stay trapped in the past? It's not about me, kid. Maybe it should be. You already gave up nine years of your life. How many more are you willing to put in? You don't have to help me if you don't want to. Yeah. Thank you for mansplaining the office. Brian, I was in prison for nine years. I only got three small scars, though. Um, do you know how crazy that is? Do you have any idea of how rare? I was on, like, all the fucking time. Um, I wanted to die a lot, like, every day. And, um, think about this. Think about this is what kept me going. But this is the biggest part of the new me, man. You gotta take it or leave it. Uh, you know, it's not that I don't want to stop, man. It's not that I don't want to stop. I would love to stop. I can't. I can't. What if it is true? What are you gonna do to Julian? Don't answer that. <laughs> no, I gotta find him. I can't help you. 
be this new person. It's not good for you. Well, that's fine. That's fine, then. Um, you can go back to playing with your fucking dolls. I don't give a shit, man. Fine, I'll do that. You do that, then. Wakey, wakey. I can You can spend all day here if all I care, but don't be late for class. I don't care if I'm late for class. Okay, gotta go. Have a good one. My vape see tonight. Who? If you're spending all your time here, why don't we make it official? I'm not talking about the proposal. Just move in officially. That way you'll be closer to school, we'll get to spend all day together, and you won't see your brother anymore. If I move out, there's no going back. So you don't think it'll work out? That's not what I said. I know. Just think about it. Gotta go. I love you tons. Okay. A love obsession surviving the object of affection. I got your email. Sit down. Was it something I said the last time we spoke? Yes. Everything clicked the last time we talked. Okay, I thought that a passion crime could reveal a part of a person that was unknown to them, and once that potential was unlocked, it cannot be put away. But now you think that obsession is helping to keep the door open. Right. And when the obsession is gone, the door can be closed. But now the person is aware of that power. The power that allowed them to correct all the wrongs done to them. Why would they give it up? To not hurt the people around them. The other people they love. Yet a crime has been committed. Gears have been put in motion. And consequences will come. Okay, a passion crime is just that. A blinding moment of pain and anger. But after that, the obsession just feeds itself with more vengeance. What if the obsession is helping to restore balance? To the same things it twisted and corrupted originally? Love is the obsession. Otherwise, it's just friendship, fraternal connection. Love is trust and commitment. Let's say you're correct. What are you suggesting? How can you prevent the consequences? Maybe it's not about preventing the consequences, but surviving them. And you think you can? Yes? Is Julian home? No. I'm, hey, I'm Nick. Um, I, uh, I've been trying to reach him for like a, a week and I've never heard back from him. Oh, he's going through something right now, so just give him some time. I mean, is this normal? Does he just take off for days at a time without telling anybody? Oh yeah, sometimes, and he always comes back feeling a lot better, so just give him some space. What was he upset about? That's none of your business. I, hey, I'm sorry. Um, I'm just really fucking worried about him. He should be coming home soon. How do you know he wants you so sure? Well, he wasn't planning on leaving for long. His car's right outside. Do you have a key?
Um, do you want to take a look at this, please? Dude, please look at this. What is this? I found in Julian's car. Is this a camera? Yeah, he used it when he's like driving with people. Ew, you're creepy recording? He's plays. Yeah, okay, I'm trying. Let's take it slow. It's loading, Nick. That one. That one right there. Mm. Holy shit. This, this could be enough to send him to jail. Why do you wait until right now? Why did you hear? This is exactly what you needed. Okay, maybe he's gonna confess to killing the others. Why do you wait until I got out of prison to kill Julian? Why do you wait so many years? I, I don't... Hey, Nick, look, listen to me. You have to go to the police. I can do this. I can do this. Hey, hey, can you help me? Um, I got a flat tire, and I, 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 uh, nobody, nobody came, and I don't know how to take the tire off. Well, if it's just a flat, it shouldn't be a problem. I can change it for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm just getting nervous because there's nobody around. No, I'm totally. I saw some homeless people camping in the area. I mean, that doesn't mean anything, but... Yeah, I mean, that's what I was talking about. Do you have a spare? In the trunk. Do you live around here? Not really. We met before? You look so familiar. I would remember. Well... You are kind of cute, so maybe that's why. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
if this is about you moving me. Is everything okay? Yeah. I just need a minute. Everything's okay? Riyadh, good morning. If you're looking for Professor Rossi, he's not in today. How come? I don't know. He's always been here earlier than normal, and today he just wasn't. Did you try calling him? Well, it's more complicated than that. Look, I'm not going to leave until you tell me what's going on. Sorry, I'm, I'm just being honest. A couple of police detectives were here earlier. Uh, Professor Rossi's neighbors heard gunshots yesterday and they called the police. When the officers arrived, they, they walked in and they, they found basically no... They broke in, probably. They walked in and they found nothing strange other than a, a strong smell of bleach. Like somebody had cleaned up the place. Yes, Rian, like a crime scene, but don't jump to conclusions. The officers, they arrive there fairly quickly, so it's hard to imagine that someone did something and then they had time to clean up. What else did the detectives say? Were they homicide detectives? They were just asking routine questions. Uh, it's not a missing person case yet. So we're just hoping that Professor Rossi will show up either later day, today or tomorrow and just tell us what happened. Pretty much. Is there something I could help you with? No, I just, I had some questions about my senior project, but I can wait. I'll check back in tomorrow. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Mom, what are you doing here? I told them I'd work from home today. Do you know where your brother is? No. I was at Mariah's all day yesterday, and then I went straight to school. He didn't come home last night. Maybe he's with Julian. No, I don't think so. Um, he sent me this text last night. I need some time away. Don't worry about me. Love you. Weird, right? No. I mean, he has the money you gave him. He probably just needs some time off. Yeah, but it just doesn't seem like him. Mom, you just gotta give him some time. I just thought that he would stay a little longer. Be at Mariah's if you need me. Are you coming back tonight? I'll see you at dinner.
Let's get going. Holy fuck! The cops are looking for you. They probably don't even know where to start yet. You set Nick up. Hey, you're welcome. I wanted to get rid of him. I just played along. You might want to get rid of that video. It could link you to some bad mojo. You were waiting for him. That's why the place was clean when the cops arrived. Glad to see your education wasn't wasted. What happens next? We draw Katie out. We? Just a figure of speech. How are you going to draw Katie out? Her mom lives in the same place. What if Katie doesn't show? Why wouldn't she? Well, you think Gwen loved Katie more than anyone else? I don't think it matters then. Pull over. Wait, what are you really asking me? Do you really think love survives the object of affection? That depends. Are you talking obsession-based love or deep caring love? Is the answer different for each? Yes. Obsession-based love may become more intense. Like any obsession it intensifies by the absence of the object because it'll be fueled by fantasies and what-ifs. On the other hand, deep caring love may become more subdued because of the acceptance of loss as facts. You have a beautiful mind, Rhea. What just happened? Hey, babe. I love your tongue, Pooh. Babe, where are you? Did you really think I didn't know it was you? What are you talking about? You knew Katie wasn't coming back because you killed her. That's all I wasn't sure about. If this is your idea of a joke... I'm a hopeless romantic, actually. Look on the table. To know why you killed Gwen. Did you really love her? I thought I was special to her. Yet you replaced her so easily. She has nothing to do with this. Of course she does. I'm going to show you what love is really about. 
I don't love that bitch. Let her go. You know, the thing about love is once it's in your bones, it never goes away. No, that's just a fixation. Love nurtures, heals, protects. I did all that. I healed her wounds. I nurtured her passions. I protected her from her own insecurities. That was a long time ago. Maybe you can follow your own advice and just move on. But if not, how can you escape the prison of her absence? Just let her go, please. How long do you think you can go on without her? Look, I'll do anything you want. Anything? Just let her go. I always liked you, Rianne. But not even you can imagine the pain of going on without her. What do you want? Would you just say it? I want you to be free. Don't do this. Go to the balcony and climb out. on the phone please i'm sorry boo i don't know what happened it's okay it's okay babe i love you tons <laughs> <laughs>